So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll teach you how to play Samurai Gardener by Osprey Games. Now, in this game, you're samurais, but rather than fighting, for some reason, you're gardening in the city of Edo. And whoever can make the best garden and please the emperor the most wins the game. Now, the way you do your gardening is through cards. You'll be placing cards out in a kind of spatial awareness puzzle. So, let's take a look. Start the game, take the garden cards, which are the ones with the six squares on one side and the picture of a garden on the other. You'll shuffle these all up and give each player randomly one, which they'll sit face up in front of them. The rest will go in the middle of the table. Each player will also need a scoring aid and a set of four of the feature cards. You have path, garden, pond and tatami, which will sit face up on the table in front of them final thing they need to do is pick a colour to be for a scoring marker. So I'll take blue, my opponent red, and places it on the zero space. That's the game set up and you're ready to begin. Whoever dealt out the cards will be your first player and they'll start the round by revealing one card for each player. You'll place these in the middle of the table in easy reach of all the players. The next thing you do is everyone hands on their laps, the dealer goes and then everyone else responds with, oh, and takes a card. By takes a card, I mean slams their hand down on it as fast as they possibly can on the card that they want. If multiple people grab for the same card and one person was there first, the other person has to then try and grab another card. If two people grabbed cards at the same time, but one person covers more of the card than the other, then the person who covers the most of the card gets it and the other person picks a different card. Once everyone has claimed a card, that's then the end of that stage. Each person will take the card. You then need to build your gardens. Now, they can place this so that it touches any existing card, either on an edge or on a corner, or overlaps an existing card. However, you can't overlap any features that are in a row or column that are three or more. These would score you points. So if this player now got another card here because they have three of the path cards, they can't cover up one of those path cards. Also, you have to place your cards so that they're in portrait. You cannot place them so that they're in landscape. You can, however, rotate them by 180 degrees. Once players have placed their cards, you'll then score. So if you have three of a feature in a row, you'll score one point, four will get you two points, five, four points. If it has six or more in a row, then it's no longer worth any points. You'll only score for things that you have built with the card that you placed this time. So if this round I then placed a new card and I placed it here, I would not score this free again because I've not changed it. However, if I placed it here, that would turn the three into a four and I would score it as such. Except that when you score something, you'll then flip over your feature card so that it's face down. You now cannot score that type of feature again until you've scored all the others. I could still place the card, but I'd gain no points. So as you score them all and you flip them all over, once they're all flipped, they immediately all unflip. You can also get bonus points if you score multiple types in the same scoring round. So if you score two, then you get a bonus two points. If you score three, four, and if you score all four types of features, then you get six points. So in a situation like this, if I had these garden cards and I then built this, I would score a row of four and a row of three. So that would get me one plus two points. And then for scoring two different types of features, a bonus two points. So I would go to five points. And that's the game. You keep playing rounds in this way with the dealer passing to the left until someone score 
reaches 25 or more. You then finish that round and whoever has the highest score at the end of that round wins the game. And that is how you play Samurai Gardener by Osprey Games. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.